Welcome back, folks. I am your host, SK Gitonga. Do not forget to follow me on all social media platforms. This is Unfinished, where we finish all unfinished parties. Today, we're talking about marriage and dowry payment. On to our next question. Do you think dowry should be refunded if the couple breaks up? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Why is it going to be refunded? Why? The time we were together, was it not worth it? I guess it was worth it. And who is going to refund it? My parents or me? I don't think so. It, it's not supposed to be refunded. Due to the time we were together, it was worth it. It was worth the time. So, na, kama we are putting ways, kaende, kaende. Akuna ku refund hapa. Mm hmm Yeah. Because you used my time that time. Yeah. Pia wu na refund yote miyangu yenye tumekuwa na wewe. If if my time should be refunded, then we'll refund your doubt. Because we spent time with you, it's like I wasted my time due to my part, to my part ways. It shouldn't. Unless, unirudishe time yangu mtu, uyo, uyo kijana mwenye minyo, ame, ame uyo mstana, amrudishe time yake, wali spend pamoja. It depends. The answer to it. Because it depends. Neza enda, mi nime kulipia dawari. Mi nika kucheza. Tuna divorce juu yangu. Yes, if I could refund it. Lakini mimi siyezi kuwa faithful ni kulipia mahari ni kuno nupiane mangombe kwenu alafu unicheze bana. Pana. Dei makicheza boy dawari ni kuwa refunded bana. Because sioni aja hawewe ni kuno nua alafu kuja kunicheza. If they separate, I think uh, what needs to be done is that the two families come to, together. It's not the man refund, the, the lady really refunding, but the two families, they laid down they laid down some um, agreement on the mode of uh, repayment, how they're going to repay it. When, yeah, at times the marriage will be so, it will be s too bad to, like, you can't really, you can't really, you can't really mend it. So the two families can come together, sit down, and lay down the foundation for repayment. Yeah, I think it should be repaid, especially so that it's just totally the link the two people. There are circumstances that dowry would be refunded mm -hmm. and uh, these were basically, in our traditions, were basically due to uh, adultery and all others. But how do you prove adultery? Mm -hmm. The threshold of proving adultery was so hard. Mm -hmm. So it was so hard to get even those marriage breakages. But nowadays, mm -hmm. Marriages break up because so and so refused to serve breakfast. So I, I don't subscribe to returning dowry because uh, if you gave out. Okay, you know, let me say you married me to me for four years or five years. You know, this is my time I invested in you. You appreciated my parents. Okay, if I'm to gift, next time, you like, I want blood like you to share gift. You gave that thing willingly. See, I like force kupeana. So when you see we our negotiation, we can negotiate with someone. It's like 300,000. Okay, so 300,000, you're not kupea. So I'm going to you to share and you will share willingly. So maybe come okay, maybe you can hear. I love what you expect to share that. That's a no. In our places, once you get married, that is you pay in terms of cows, goats and sheep, like I've said before, you don't pay all of them. Later that maybe if the if the family wants you pay if the, if the family wants around maybe fifteen cows, you pay half. Then the other half is come to be repaid, let's say thirty years later. So the other half now in, acts like a collateral. Later that uh, I've had an issue with you. Then my wife goes back to their home. I'll be fined now from the, the remaining cows. Later I was supposed to pay 15, I paid 8. Now they'll add up to be 9. So for me, I don't think it should, be, it should be refunded. Yeah, for me it can be refunded where I come from. Unless otherwise. Unless otherwise that one, you have had very, very many, many triangles and stuff. But in very rare cases, can it be refunded? However, in some places, the ones who've made it in terms of money, I think they have, they have stakes to say give us our money. Yeah, but however, if, 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 if there were cows or stuff and stuff, you don't have any stake? Yeah. I know. No, 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 no. No, because uh, I think dowry, I think una una pia wazazu wa mshana shukrani. Yeah, thank you. It's appreciation, by the way. So, kama ni appreciation, it should not be refunded. 
hata kama mtakosana hata kama mtabreak up ibaki kwa wazazi because ulikumeka na huu mtu ulikumamua hata kama what happened na mkachana it should not be refunded uh, no i can't refund our uh, you can't just you simply can't um, i always it always kabisa always i don't have a reason but my belief is you shouldn't shouldn't refund our yeah sabu it may lead, it may lead to yeah it may lead to, that's like breaking a taboo it shouldn't be refunded because what's done is done um i can give an example like when you buy something um you've already paid the money so once you're done with it or it's broken you cannot take it back because it's yours you already bought it so i'm not saying now the man is buying the woman but what is given is given i don't think it should be refunded yeah what's done is done sio macha na so dem amerudi kwao dem ako no longer as in akui on na umse so sa si umse rafa kurudishi wa dozake dem arudi kwao as in enough for refunded yeah no i don't think uh, it should be refunded uh, because uh, from my own point of view uh you ha- you you shared something but then later you you have separated i don't think it should be refunded equal refunded you sasa omelipa haijawak then what next so si rudishwe if they separate he rudishwe via Personally I don't think dowry should be refunded because it is a token of appreciation. Once you give someone a gift, I do not expect you to ask for it back. However, in some African countries, uh it is considered appropriate for you to take back the dowry because for as long as you don't, you still belong to that person. And also if you decide to make matters legal, then that depends on what the court decides. On to our next question. Do you think paying dowry has a negative effect especially on women? Let me know what you think. Paying dowry has no negative consequences. It is just an act of appreciation. I go back. Where is your call? If you lose your call, then you have no basis. That's when you'll always say that uh, they paid dowry, they paid 13 cattle, they paid one hen, they paid what and what they bought me. So that commercializes it or essentializes the commercialization where you think if they pay 10 million for me so I'm better off even with 100 million you are still an object somehow it has brought some negative issues you maybe most of the women feel like they're now um so entitled to the wife you unapata me mtu anakupiga ju you paid you, i paid for the dowry so i'm i'm your husband you have to respect me and do this and do this and do this so like somehow peer will may take advantage of it because i paid a lot of cows a lot of money maybe i gave my car to your parent at ndio sasa you'll have to respect me you'll have to do all this shit and you'll have to is of it zote somehow what will may take advantage of it and maybe to some to some place maybe society tafika maybe the lady will feel like there is no need to pay the dowry cuz maybe utakuwa uta utakuwa so entitled to me so it say that you pay maybe dowry kidogo ama usilipe ndio maybe tukianza kukosana tuendane hivyo z but pay the dowry but men i guess should should not act that entitled it's an african thing you have to pay the dowry you don't have to be entitled too entitled to your wife yeah unapata mtu amekulipia dowry maybe wazazi wako walimsukuma sana akalipa dowry ya pesa mingi ama ama ngombe mingi ama mbuzi mingi kitu yote like kenye iko juu sana sasa anatoa lakini ndani yake maybe anasikia vibaya manini sasa kisha kuoa unakuwa mtumwa wake sasa you no longer the wife unakuwa mtumwa anakuambia like anything he says anataka ufanye juu ukikataa kufanya utasikia anasema nililipa mahari mingi sana kwenyu hata sasa unakuwa mtumwa wake ama mtu anakufanya anakutapa venye anataka juu saa wewe ulishakuwa wake anakuchapa na kumistreat na kudisrespect kila kitu tu anakufanya kila kitu anajisikia kufanya juu after all alishalipa mahari kwenyu
nikikuja kwa nyumba kaa nilikulipia mahari nikuti hujachemsha maji hujanipikia so like tafanya kenye nasema so like nakuta mimi anasema bana eh ngombe ilienda kwetu mimi ngombe nikakuja kwa kina ngombe so like anapata ile ana hata asi kwa nyumba i don't think there is any consequence because you know as i said earlier that you are, you, you are appreciating my family for investing in me and at least they brought for you like kununa unasoma nimesoma and all that if you see something good in me it means you appreciate it so i don't think i'm going to negative consequence dowry traditionally or uh, traditionally is a form of appreciation yeah it's appreciating the family so it should be something that that say that i'm buying you it should be really that way it should be viewed as a form of payment really but as a form of appreciation so it i don't think it has negative consequences because for example my father did pay dowry uh, and has never I, i've never seen any negative effects on how he treats my mother in fact he treats uh, her with respect so i don't, I don't really think it, it has negative effects on the woman it doesn't have by one or the other now try to fit yourself in, in such a shoe where you're getting married and your parents don't demand for anything from you from your husband's side it simply means that at least you're not being valued so for me i can say it gives that lady at least i'm being valued try to assume yourself you're getting married then your parents just say let's say let's assume maybe the request for cows they say give us one cow how will you feel yourself <laughs> so i can say it doesn't have a negative consequence in fact uh, it's a uh, it's like a bonus because uh, try to imagine yourself you're getting married then your mom just mom or dad says for you for 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 you to get married to to your to your to your better half will only give you only request for one cow how will you feel yourself so for me I feel it's like a positive thing it can't be a negative thing negative consequences i <laughs> know uh, no no it uh, in a negative consequences kwa sababu kama ni ni umaamua nimekaa na mtu like nimekaa na mtu sana hiyo time yote nimeamua kuishi na yeye so like acha ni muonyeshe <coughs> anatamani kwangu yeah aina negative consequences ni ile tu unaona he ako na thamani kwangu i must appreciate her ivo no okay that pain of dowry does not affect a woman in any way because it's it's dowry is like dowry is bad wealth yeah so it doesn't affect a woman in any way because it's it's for your foreign culture the only thing that dowry cannot cannot uh, tie a woman to someone if they don't even when she doesn't love love the man so when it reaches time for divorce it's okay uh, so it doesn't affect the woman i don't think it has a negative effect uh, i think it's tradition it's been there for a long time so people have been doing it um, but you know the world is evolving and so are people so whether they pay or not it doesn't have a negative effect on women yeah true koza uh, madem wengi wanapitia marriages zile ziko na complications but juu alilipa dawari awezi rudi home so inabidi avumilie na ina lead to death so na kasi kuizi kuna gender based violence no one can talk i think uh, it has some negative effects eh? because uh, to me i think paying dowry is like purchasing the lady it's like you are purchasing a commodity you bring a commodity to your house so yeah Women. yes cuz nowadays when someone pays dowry in a little sense ya ownership ni kama amenunua mtu so anything kitoke au akiongea akijaribu ku raise sauti tasema i paid for you i literally bought you so inaribu kila kitu yeah. in my opinion i feel like in some cases it it does have a negative effect when the man does pay the bride price because men tend to look at their wives like possessions that they own and we also have parents that look at their kids as investments which leads to forced marriages you might get your parents just pairing you up with a random person just because they are going to earn from it we have come to the end of the show i am your host sk gitonga see you then